me. <laughs> you don't got to leave with me. Really? They all want to leave with me. You know what they say? We're in the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois. Temperatures below the freezing mark for today's game as the Seahawks match up against the Bears. And the captains are out there ready for the coin toss. Lined up for the kickoff, so let's get this game started. From the five. Let's see if they can turn this first drive into points. John, this one will really challenge the offensive coordinators as they go up against two of the best defenses in the NFL. Both of these teams have championship caliber defense. I think if you talk to most coaches in the league today, building a Super Bowl team starts with great defense. Johnny has great touches. Now you say, what's his strength? What does he do best? Well, you can see it right there. It's his accuracy that puts this guy on a whole nother level. Chicago lines up in a 4-3. Jackson comes in motion. Hands it off to the back. Break pulls him down at the 43. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass play. Ball on their own 43. The Bears line up in a 4-3. The rush is on. Throws on the run. And it's complete. And he's ridden out at the 48. They'll move the chains with that completion. Yeah, and that was a great recognition by the quarterback. Knowing where to go with the football against the blitz and knowing how to get it there. The Bears come out in a 4-3. Stevens moves in motion. With a counter play. Brown is there on the stop. The Seahawks are handling the defense right now. They haven't even had a third down on this drive. Ball on the 36 yard line. The Bears line up at a 4 3. Rowing. He hits his receiver. Ogunwaye comes up to make the play at the 28. Scan the defense quickly here. If nothing's open downfield, get rid of it by passing to one of your back. Alexander, the lone back. Watch this now, now. It's a delay of game penalty. Good ball. Seven back five. Delay of game. On the offense. Number if eight. The defense still gets second Don't down. Don't forget to use misdirection of play action ball to keep them off balance on passing down. All on us, y'all. The Bears come out in a dime package. Rose it. This one falls incomplete. Ingram was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Everyone needs to stay focused here. Hold your blocks, run good routes, and make a good pass. You need to convert this. Alexander, the lone setback. With the pass, Erlocker makes the tackle at the 23. Be patient out there. When you see an opportunity, that's when you attack. But don't force it. The back. 
Knights are lined up in an eye. Here the counter play. Scott is there for the tackle and the 24. Look at that defense over there. You own these guys if you can just execute. Second and long coming up here. Downfield is a good way to get pressure on the quarterback. If he can't find someone downfield, then he has to throw it away, hold it, or pull it down quickly. The pass rushers will be right there to haul him down. Steps up. Closing in. Gets rid of it. Pass was incomplete. He barely got that one off. Yeah, it wasn't a sack. And what it did was make the quarterback adjust his throw and had messed up his rhythm. Josh Brown will try to put them ahead with this field goal. The kick is good. Okay. He's one of those guys who really works hard at what he does. And you can see that hard work paying off when you make a kick like this one. And he got all of that one, a great kick. This one is taken by number 23. Chicago is trying to take the lead on this drive as they take over. The backs are lined up in an eye. Wow, On the carry. Play action. Gives this one a ride to the left. He's there for the catch. The 20. The 10. Touchdown, Bears. Bernard is getting up very slowly. It looks like he'll head toward the sideline and we'll get you an injury report as quickly as possible. This is a good special teams play. Comes in to attempt the point after. Gray, 35. The, the point after is good. That's why defenses have so much trouble against this ball club. It took just one play to score. Yeah, I've heard of a no-look pass in basketball. That was a no-look touchdown. The defense didn't see it coming. He got all of that one. From the four. They turn their last possession into three points. Let's see what they do with the ball this time around. Bernard is back in there after getting taken out with an injury earlier. The Bears line up in a 4-3. Throws it. Right on target to the wide receiver. And it's good for a first down. The of the play is a first down. patient out there. When you see an opportunity, that's when you attack. But don't force it. The Bears come out in a 4-3. A little misdirection. Scott stops him at the 48-yard line. I know they didn't get much. It's all about making the defense respect the fact that you're willing to run. Ball right around midfield. Alexander, the lone back. With the pass, he hits his receiver. Manning comes up to make the play at the 33. Get some time in the pocket and be patient with it. Don't force it into cover. Ball on the 33-yard line. The Bears come out on a nickel pass. Going to the air on first down. 
Damage on that. Throwing. And he steps out of bounds at the five. You talk about great concentration. Watch it. He's able to keep his feet in bounds, make the catch on a perfectly placed pass. off touchdown Seattle this is a good play by the offense in the red zone the wide receiver is going to break away right here and come up with a catch and the touchdown Set. Cut. the extra point attempt is good Hey, as an offensive coach in this league, you're always making adjustments. And hopefully, you can get the defense on its heels and get it in there for the touchdown. Good job by these guys. From the three. In their last possession, they did a great job moving the ball through the air on their way to the end zone. And you'd expect to see the same thing here until the defense proves they can defend against the pass. The Seahawks come out in a dime package. Let's go now. Here we go, baby. Rock and roll. Go in this direction. Fuller pulls him down at the 34-yard line. A smart coach would call this one. Second and short. Looking upfield, Tatupu is there for the tackle at the 36-yard line. Give this one a shot. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Throw right. Two, two. Let's go, boys. They come out in a dime package. With a counter play, Wistrom stops the play in the backfield. Big tackle there for Lawson. Great pursuit there, John. You can say that again. He knows how to prepare, and it really pays off when you make stops like that. The Seahawks come out of the nickel pack. Gets the pass off, and he hits his target. Jennings is there on the stop at the 40. Roseman throws that pass for a gain of seven. Third and six. The Seahawks with a four-man front. Pressure. Fires this one deep. Almost picked off. Deep throw, nearly picked off. When you've got a receiver who wins a lot of jump ball situations, you've got to throw it deep to him. That time, the defender got the better jump. Maynard comes into the game for the punt. Carlson sets up, waiting for the punt. This one will be down at the 10 yard line. Follow your blocking on this run. When you see the lane open, just accelerate right through it. Deep in their own territory. Chicago goes with a four man front. Throws it. Manning comes up to make the play at the 41-yard line. He brings it in for a big game. Almost every wide receiver gets better at running routes as they get older. And this guy is no exception. Chicago using three linebackers. Three, seven, four. With a counter play. Now that's a stiff arm. He's pushed out at the 50. Alexander running hard, going right through the arm tackles. Seven and one. Fifty yard line. Hey, watch that three! Everything you've got. Blue down, blue down. So at the end of one, the score is 10-7. Seahawks. 
the teams as switch sides in the second quarter. Second and one coming up. Chicago lines up in a 4-3. They give it to the halfback. at the 38-yard line. So that tackle was his third. Keep an eye on the safety. Take advantage of the spot where the defense looks soft. Ball on the 38-yard line. Dropping back to pass on first down. Pressure coming. Throws on the move. The pass falls incomplete. Stevens was the intended receiver on that play. Trust your big guys to open some lanes out there. Watch for the defenders to get blocked and then run for the gap. Chicago goes with a four-man front. Under pressure. Gets pulled down from behind. Wally Agumlier is a good defensive end. He's tough against a run. He's a very good pass rusher. Well, you have to go with a long pass here. So go with the hard count. If they don't fight, make sure you get the first down. The Bears come out in a dime package. Jackson comes in motion. Rose it. Give him help. And he makes the grab. Manning stops him at the 16. It's good for a first down, John, on a third and long. The playbook is not exactly full of plays for third and long. They found the right one, and they ran it perfectly. They're inside the 20 and have a three-point lead. Going to the air on first down. Rolling left. Closing in, has time. They have a bunch of guys in this defense who can really get after their quarterback. With their speed and quickness, they can get around the blockers and put a lot of pressure on the signal call. Chicago comes out in their nickel package. Here we go, baby. Watch out. Hey, watch the screen. Right on One of us gonna make a play. Drops back. Steps up. Pressure. Pat Hasselbeck gets dropped. He got taken down again, and that's the fourth time in this game he's been sacked. After the sack, they'll be looking at third and long here. The lineup of six defensive backs. With the pass, incomplete pass. Leslie comes up to knock that ball out of the receiver's hands before he was able to get control of it. Yeah, we see a lot of footballs popping up when he makes contact. His instincts know when to deliver the hit and how to do it. So this will be a 48-yard attempt from the 38-yard line. It's good. He sends it right through the upright, his second field goal of the game. From the two. So after being forced to punt the last time they had it, the offense heads back out onto the field. Ball on their own 27. Only one man back. Hand it off. Hill is there on the stop. No gain on that play as the linebacker slipped in almost unnoticed. Yeah, he did a great job getting in there. He was looking for the run before they even snapped the ball. The Seahawks come out on a nickel pack. Uses the pump, launching this one deep down the middle. What a catch. 
Jennings comes up to make the play at the 12. That's the kind of thing that can change our whole defensive approach. Now they have to respect the pass even more, making sure that none of those wide receivers get behind them for any more big plays. With a counter play, Bullwick makes the tackle at the 10. Jones gets the ball on the counter, short gain about a yard. They need 10 for the touchdown. The Seahawks with a four-man front. Peterson is there on the stop at the 14. They were trying to stretch the defense, trying to beat them to the sideline. But they have a quick defense, so it reacts very quickly to play. And they were right there to shut it down. Seattle doesn't want a long pass over anybody's head here, so they back up the secondary. All kinds of time for the end zone. Intercepted in the end zone. When you see the defense dropping everyone into coverage, you just can't throw it up like that, hoping that your receiver will make a play in the ball. You gotta take your time, make your read, and look for something safer, maybe underneath, and then let the receiver gain some yards after the catch. A little misdirection. Number 92 is the guy who's there to bring him down at the 24. Let's move his football. Second and six. Gets rid of it. Break makes the tackle at the 30. Excellent recognition by the receiver, leading the coverage and adjusting his route accordingly. Option routes are receiving routes designed to take advantage of the coverage. It's up to both the receiver and the quarterback to make the same read. If the receiver reads zone, but the quarterback reads man, you can see passes going right to defender. With a counter play. Manning is there on the stop at the 33. Alexander runs it for about three on the counter play. Ball on their own 33. Only one man in the backfield. Pressure coming. On the run. The defense has it. The 40. The defense just gave them the ball on the takeaway, but then they give it right back. Following the interception, it's now first and 10. The corners are backing off. They'll pass on first down. Throwing. Incomplete pass. Good push by the defensive line, forcing the incomplete pass. He hung in there. He didn't really have the time that he needed to make the play. The quarterback has to know who his outlet guy is and get the ball to him when he feels that pressure coming. Jones is the deep back. Under pressure, gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. They'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The tackle is his fifth of the game. This defense might work. Ball on the 22-yard line. play keeping him at the Wistrom is there for the tackle at the 19 yard line hey, this is a good one to call it's second down and seven to go the last time they got down here the defense intercepted a pass throws it and he hits his target. Number 37 brought it in just before he fell out of bounds. Good catch for a first down. I'll tell you, he's got some of the best footwork for a receiver in the game today. The Seahawks come out in a dive package. He surveys the field, looks to the end zone. Almost intercepted. Oh, man, he had it in the end zone, but dropped it. One person breathing a sigh of relief is a quarterback. Out of the eye formation. 
Blue Jay, Blue Jay. Aimed it off to the back to Tupu. Records the stone Jones. at the five. Oh, Jones Game runs it through the middle again of about six. Right. Five more yards to get it into the end zone. Call this defense here. Five yards away from the end zone. Gets right in there and brings him down. Time to call the special teams play. He shouldn't have any problems with this attempt. Nice to have a guy that can make your drive worth three, even if you don't get it in the end zone every time. Number nine is back and ready to put this one in the air. Nice pitch. This one is fielded by Burleson. Your defense looking for a second straight interception. Watch that game clock. You need to keep it stopped as much as possible. Ball on their own 23. Only one man in the backfield. Hand it off. Brown is there for the tackle at the 28 yard line. Here's a no huddle. It's a good way to keep the defense off balance. They give it to the halfback. Number 92 with the tackle at the 33. Alexander rumbles forward for a gain of four. Third and issue. And here's what they've been able to do so far on third down. The Bears with a four-man front, looking upfield. Break is there on the stop, but they allow them to pick up the first. He lowers his shoulder and powers his way to the first. Ball on their own 33. The Bears come out of the 46, going to the air on first down. Throwing on the run. Wide receiver has it, and he goes out of bounds at the 41. Down, Don't try and throw this to the middle of the field. Your guy will never have a chance to get out of bounds and stop the clock. Chicago goes with a four-man front. Closing in, he won't get away. Matt Hasselbeck gets dropped. The, the offensive Ball line is just getting manhandled the out there. That's sack number five. Second and long. Ball on the 49-yard line. The defense lines up in the nickel. With the pass. Basher is there for the tackle at the 49. I like the hurry up here. It's a change of pace and it's a way to get the defense uncomfortable. Gives this one a ride to the left. Incomplete as the defender knocks it away. Great position and great reaction made that play happen. Basher had the coverage on the floor. Puck, they can let the offense have a shot at this fourth down. Pressure with the throw, nearly intercepted. You have to wonder why he decided to go for it on that fourth down. I don't know what that coach was thinking. That's why you have special teams to play a game of field position. The corners are backing off. Keep the throttle. The Seahawks line up in the quarter defense. Throws it, and he hits his target. Bullwick is there for the tackle at the 31-yard line. At the end of two, score is 13-10. Seahawks. Brown looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. From the one. Chicago trying to 
push this one all the way down the field for the lead. First and ten. Jones in the backfield. Throwing. And the catch is made. They'll knock him out of bounds. At the 37, Davis makes the catch but doesn't get very far. And that's what the mark of a solid defense is. They close in on you in a hurry, and they don't miss tackle. Second and inches. The Seahawks come out in a 4-3. the tailback to Tupu comes up to make the play at the 40. You should stop him with this play. First and 10. Ball on the 40 yard line. One of us gonna make a play. They both left. Blue down, blue down. Loosening up the coverage on the outside. The Seahawks with a four-man front. Peterson is there on the stop. A successful running attack requires good blocking up front to be effective. Ball on their own 49. The corners playing off a bit. Dropping back. Gets rid of it. He has his receiver with some running roll. Can't pull him down. Still knock him out of bounds at the 29. With that completion, he's now over 200 yards past him. The Seahawks come out in a 4 3. Flips the tackle. Fisher makes the stop at the 22. When your offensive line is getting a good push up front, it's a lot easier to pick up yardage on the ground. Wow, 28. Hut, hut. Throws it, and he hits his target. This one will be spotted at the 11. He wraps up the ball carrier. His tackle total is now four. 11 yards to the end zone. This team has failed to score touchdowns inside the red zone today. Nice play fake with the pass. Peterson is there on the stop at the four-yard line. Mohammed gains about seven yards on that reception. Four more yards to finish off the drive with a touchdown. The Seahawks come out in a nickel pack. Goes to the end zone. Ooh, nearly picked off. Oh, man, he had it in the end zone, but dropped it. That's the second worst thing that can happen to a defender, to drop one like that. The absolute worst thing is to have your man beat you for six. And the red zone defense has been stepping it up so far today. And they're in. Touchdown. You talk about containment, and here the line contains the defense and lets them get around for the score. Time to call the special teams play. Number nine comes in for the extra point. Great, 72. The point after is good. And they're able to get into the end zone, and that gives them the lead now. That was a great effort by everyone, especially the offensive line. They pulled together to get the ball in the end zone. From the two. Carlson is able to get it to the 22-yard line. Try not to get too predictable out there. Make sure you got a good mix of run and pass. At the 22-yard line, first and 10. They're coming with the blitz. Throws it. He hits his receiver. Vasher pulls him down at the 29-yard line. Keep the defense guessing. Don't forget to use misdirection to play action to keep him off balance on passing down. Watch the Get it on. Score right. Let's go, boys. Chicago using three linebackers. Here comes the blitz. Matt Hasselbeck gets slammed in the turf. And how many times have they gotten to the quarterback in this one? Yes! 
This is the time to look down the field. Look for your guy to find a hole in the defense and get him the ball. It's now third and long after the sack. Nice job so far on third down for the offense, and we'll see if that continues here. Pressure coming, throwing. Drops the interception. Good defense and three and out series are the way to keep your defense fresh and rested. Number 23 will go back to accept this punt. Can't bring him down. Number 23. Doesn't have a whole lot of room to work with getting it to the 38. It's first and ten. With the pass, and it's complete. Julian Peterson was in on the play again for another tick on the stat sheet. This defense looks good. The Seahawks come out in a 4-3. Aimed it off to the back, dropped in the backfield for a short loss. He saw where he wanted to go with it, and before he knew it, the hole was closing up. Here's a look at the third down success rate of each team. The Seahawks come out in a nickel package. Aimed it off. Bowler brings him down before he can reach the marker. So we should see the punter after they fail to convert on third down. Maynard is ready to punt this one away. Burleson lines up deep for the punt return. And so the punt goes out of bounds. Come on, show these guys some power football. So they have first and ten here. The Bears with a four-man front. They give it to the handback. Erlock is there for the tackle at the 23-yard line. Bang the ball up in there. Those safeties will start to cheat up, and that's when you can go over the top. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 23-yard line. Will, Will, Will. Let's go. Watch the man. Here we go. They soft, man. Chicago comes out in a 4-3. Looking deep to the right. The defense has it. Somehow he held on to the ball for an interception. He has some great hands, and that's one of his best assets. He actually played both sides of the ball in high school. After the interception, they'll set up shot at the 43-yard line. I'll come with you, baby. Play hard and fast, baby. Yeah. Hey, to carry it. That's Play one action. One. Throwing. Picked off. It's intercepted. And they can't take advantage of the turnover because then they turn it over themselves. So after the interception, now it's first and ten. Alexander, the long setback. He'll pass on first down. Under pressure, rolls right. There he goes, and he steps out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Get behind those big old linemen and let them do their work. Second and six. Chicago lines up in a 4-3. Drops back. Gets the pass off. Incomplete as the defender knocks it away. He has to do a better job of looking off the coverage before he makes a throw like that. Stevens was his intended target. The defense lines up in the nickel. Dropping back. Pass, pass. On the move. Pass falls incomplete. Great, Watson causing the incomplete. I'll tell you, there are plenty of guys in the league who take pride in making hits like that, especially when it causes an incompletion. Red, 
Don't know why they're going for it here. You'd think they just punt. Closing in. Gets rid of it. Almost picked off. If you want to give the other team great opportunities, turn it over on down. It pumps up the team and gives their offense some momentum. With a counterplay, Hill holds him down behind the line. He came with a blitz and there wasn't anywhere to go. Yeah, and that's why you send all those guys to plug up the hole. At that time, there were no holes at all. The Seahawks with a four-man front, giving some cushion on the outside. Great fake. Gets the pass off behind him, but he has it. The 30. He loses it. The Seahawks grab the live ball. I'll tell you, they always say it. You have to come away with something when you get down inside the 20. The teams that are successful in this league almost always get some kind of points when they move down here. Maybe they only kick a field goal, but they usually get something. That's a heck of a lot better than coming away with no points at all. They might not be busting off big games, but those linemen are really working hard down there. One yard gain on that play. The ball on their own seven. Chicago goes with a four man front. Dropping back, gets rid of it, complete to the wide receiver, and he's knocked out of bounds at the 18. John, he's proven he's a consistent target. Yeah, especially in situations where they're looking to get first down yardage. Hasselback sends a man in motion. Gets the call. Harris is there on the stop at the 24. They've done a pretty good job moving the ball on the ground. Spread the ball around. And make sure the defense knows that they have to cover every receiver. Chicago lines up in a 4-3. Throwing. He hits his receiver. Ryan Urlacher is the man to bring him down. That's his third touch. He saw a linebacker trying to cover his running back, and he knew he had a favorable matchup. So at the end of the third quarter, score is 17-13. Fair. And we'll start the fourth quarter. Throw this one to your halfback. Get it to him early and let him make some moves. Ball on their own 31. Chicago comes out in a 4-3. Burlock with the stop. Pickup of about eight. Come on, show these guys some power football. The Bears with a four-man front. Hasselback with a man in motion. Hand it off. Basher records the tackle at the 42. The Seahawks are handling the defense right now. They haven't even had a third down in this drive. Ball on their own 42. The Bears come out in a nickel pack. He'll pass on first down. Throws on the run. And the catch is made. And he is bumped out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Run the football. A good running game will really open up the pass. So after that nice catch and run, here's a look at his stats. Set, three, five. They give it to the halfback. Johnson comes up to make the play. Alexander rumbles forward for a gain of four. Trust your big guys to open some lanes out there. Watch for the defenders to get blocked and then run for the gap. Only one man back. Yeah. 
pressure. He'll take off, and he's forced out of bounds at the 38 yard line. Nothing special here. Just get a first down. Third down. They have to get it to the 34 yard line for a first. And they won't get the first. Holding on the offense, number 85, fourth down. Fourth down, less than a yard. It appears they're going to go for it, and here's how they've done so far. This one at Passable. the 32. He makes his fifth stop of the game on that play. Come on, show these guys some power football. And this is the 12th play of this drive. Alexander is the deep back. Branch, the man in motion. Only the counter play. Makes the tackle at the 16. Hey, if you can keep running the ball in the fourth quarter as you're playing catch up, that's an advantage that you have over the defense because it keeps them off balance. Comes up to make the play at the 11. Alexander with a nice burst through the middle that time. Five yard pickup. They're 11 yards away from the end zone. Hasselback with a man in motion. They're blitzing. Gets the pass off. Ryan Erlacher got in there for another tackle. This is what they have to do keep making completions down the field and move the chain. Watch this one. He knows he's got to get the first, and he picks the right guy to throw it to. Set. Yellow, 74. Strong comes in motion. He gets the catch. Erlock rolls him down behind the line. He couldn't get anything going through the middle. You know, it was because the defense filled all the gaps. Back was looking for a place to run. But by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the gaps, bringing them down for a loss. All right, the lone back. They're coming with the blitz. And set. He's dropped the quarterback three times now. Loss of six on the play. They're 11 yards away from the end zone. Hey, watch the screen. You fine. You good. The Bears come out in a nickel package. Stevens in motion. With the pass, the pass ball is incomplete. Ingram was the one they were trying to get the ball to. We'd see the field goal unit here, but they're going to go for it. The blitz is on. Throws one up in the end zone. Intercepted in the end zone. Spectacular the play, and it couldn't have come at a better time. I tell you, that might be the play that wins a ball game. These guys are down here thinking they're about to take the lead, and boom! They're going back to the sideline empty-handed. Jones is the deep back. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. He tried to find some room in the middle, but there was no place to go. He brought some extra guys up on the run blitz. They got penetration, 
and they shut the play down. The Seahawks line up in a 4-3. Uses the pump. Pressure coming. The Seahawks get the safety. Take a look at his success returning kicks. We get ready for the kickoff. Brad Maynard lines up for the free kick. From the 23 yard line. This is just the kind of situation they were hoping for. Now all they need to do is put together a last minute drive, and they're going to come away with a win. And now it's up to the defense to shut them down. Chicago goes with a four-man front. Hasselback with a man in motion. They're coming with the blitz. Rowan almost intercepted. Ingram was the intended receiver on that play. Manning with the coverage. Comes out in their nickel package. Move, Steps up under pass, pressure. Pass. Deep. With the pass, Brian Erlacher picks it off. Brian Erlacher makes the fourth quarter interception. Now, smart coach would call this defense. Right. The offense gets ready to go following the interception. The Seahawks line up in a 4-3. Hand off to the tailback. Tatupu is there for the tackle at the 28. Heck, this is a good one to call. Second and eight coming up here. The Seahawks come out in a 4-3. Fakes the throw. With the throw, it's batted away. He's got great recovery speed. He can catch up to the ball even if he's caught out of position. That time he was right there in the secondary to tip the ball away. Muhammad was his intended target. As they get ready for this third down play, we'll take a look at how they've done today. Jones, the lone back. Hand it off to the back. Hamlin stops him short of the marker. Nothing doing on that running play, so they'll probably send in the kicker. I think so. When you've got the lead, you don't have to try anything fancy. You just tack on the three and put the game in your defense's hands. Number nine heads out onto the field for the field goal attempt. But the kick is good. Up 5-5 five, five now, following the successful field goal attempt. Good distance. This one is taken by Burrowson. Keeps his feet. Moving. This is one of those spots where they have to put something together because they're just running out of time. Two minute warning coming up. The Bears line up in a 4 3. Throws on the move. He hits his receiver, and he's forced out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Let's move this football. Almost at the two-minute mark now. Stevens might be the target again after what he did with his last catch. Alexander, the deep man. They give it to the halfback. Basher is there for the tackle at the 47. Sean Alexander is picked up now over 100 yards on the ground. Be aware of the pressure here. If you feel the heat, you got to make quick decisions. Just make sure they're good. Ones. And we've reached the two-minute mark. Chicago goes with a four-man front. Looking to run it here. Scott makes the tackle at the 46-yard line. They took a chance by running the ball with less than two to go in the fourth quarter, and they pick up a big first down. First ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Only one man in the backfield. Hasselback with a man in motion. Keep 
throwing. Complete for the wide receiver. Vasher is there on the stop at the 39-yard line. Watch that game clock. You need to keep a stop as much as possible. Ball on the 39-yard line. Chicago lines up in a 4-3. He gets the carry. Manning with the stop at the 32-yard line. Risky play call. Running it with time winding down. They need a touchdown to take the lead. Ball on the 32-yard line. The Bears come out in a 4-3. Jackson, the man in motion. They'll bring the blitz. Rolling right. Launching the pass deep down the right side. Throws to the end zone for the late lead. Pass interference on the defense. In the third three. That's a costly penalty, but he prevented the touchdown. In this league, you don't want to give the offense first and goal from the one-yard line because even the worst team can get in from there. It's first and goal at the one. This team can't afford a repeat of their last trip inside the 20. Lobs one into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Touchdown, Excellent composure in the pocket. He gives them the lead here in the fourth. So the goal for the two here and the chance to make it a three-point game. He'll keep it. They fail to get the two. Josh Brown is just about ready to kick this one away. From the one. Keeps his feet moving. The Bears can't afford to waste much time as they take over. At the 38-yard line, the Seahawks call a timeout. They have two left. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Big the split. The Bears line up in a five-receiver set this time. Let's go now. Pass play here on first down. With the throw, he finds his man. Fisher is there for the tackle. At the 38, the corners are backing off. The Bears call a timeout. They have two remaining. So it's ten. second and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Let's go. This side, this side. Play two quarters. The Seahawks line up in the quarter defense. Throws it. He hits the receiver. Powering the hit. Hamlin comes up to make the play. At the 50. Yeah, he has such a quick release, and the ball is out before anybody knows what's happening. And that makes it hard for him to be sacked, and it gives the defenders less time to react. Ball on the 50-yard line. Watch out. Watch the hard count. The defense lines up in the nickel. Here Not today. They'll bring the blitz. With the pass, Jennings is there on the side. At the 40. They want to hurry it up here. Tightening up the coverage along the outside. He'll stop the clock with a spike. To move the chains on third down here, they have to get it to the 40. Jennings is this week's selection for Snickers' hungriest player. Nickelback in this time. First on short yardage. Pass ball's incomplete. He's lucky he got that one off, John. The defense brought everyone on the blitz. That's the idea. Bring the blitz and force him to throw before he wants to. Hold it, baby. Hold it. Not a lot of options here. They have to take a shot and go for it. Hit as he throws. This pass is incomplete. They didn't have much choice, needing a touchdown to take the lead, and that will turn it over with very little time left. Just go ahead and take a knee here. I'll come through, baby. All right, let's go. Let's go, B. Let's go. Got the snap down. Hey, watch that three. And there's the kneel down by the quarterback. Brown stops the clock with that timeout. You don't want to take any chances in this situation. 
Just take a knee, let the clock run out. He'll just take a knee. The final score is Seattle 21, Chicago. Seattle 21, Chicago. This game is presented by the authority of the National Football League and EA Sports. Any publication, rebroadcast, or other use of the descriptions and accounts of this game without the expressed written permission of EA Sports is prohibited. This is Al Michaels. Good night.